Today we're going to talk about balance of payments when it's uh, not zero. So this is balance of payments where it's commonly heard in the public. It excludes the official financing accounts, so it's just net exports plus NR plus KF. So if if the balance of payments is greater than zero, then that's uh, balance of payments surplus, which I'll call just call BP surplus. And if it's less than zero, then of course you guessed it. That's a BP, BP deficit. Deficit. So, in the case of BP surplus, um, an example of that, or the concept is during a BP surplus, the exports are probably high. Exports probably high. So we have a lot of exports and vice versa for deficit. So now on to the deal of uh, OFA. So a little thing that you have to know about OFA is that if the OFA is less than zero when uh, we have a BFP greater than not zero, then pretty much you got to get this fact into your head that there are more purchases there are more purchases than sales than sales of foreign currency so yeah so pretty much it's it's negative right so then we're looking at uh, purchases more than we are looking at sales. So then, there are more purchases and sales of foreign currency. And if, and in the if OFP OFA is greater than zero, greater than zero, then of course there are more sales than purchases of foreign currency. foreign currency so in this case let's just put in here that exports probably low exports probably low so pretty much how we can think about this is um, let's say that this is another fact that Exports selling our stuff, but purchasing uh, crap. Exports selling our stuff. My racer doesn't work, but purchasing foreign currency. So when exports are high, then we are selling our stuff, but we are purchasing uh, foreign currency. That's why the OFA is low. There are more purchases than sales of foreign currency. When uh, B of P is greater than zero and OFA is less than zero, that's because we're exporting a lot here. And when we're exporting, then due to this, from this fact, we know that we are purchasing a lot of foreign currency. Now in this case, exports are low. That means that um, that means that we are importing, so we are selling, we are selling our foreign currency. There are more sales of foreign currency than purchases. And that's the kind of thing that I want to get into your head. Um, so this is kind of like a general fact that um, that when B of P is greater than zero, more um, more likely we are to have an O of A that is less than zero and when B of P is uh, less than zero more likely we are uh, to have we are to have an O of A greater than zero for the facts that I just stated um, using this exports selling our stuff by purchasing foreign currency to play into the logic of why uh, this this situation is why this general fact is true
And that's what I want to teach in this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.